What's going on guys? This is Nafara Dimediek and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am Umar Nafara and I'm a Iran medical student and I make videos on the same lifestyle. And in this video, I will be talking on the top 10 common mistakes individuals do while applying for MBBS, that is medicine associated in Nigeria. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and if you enjoyed the video, click on the like button. Let the video begin right now. The first common mistake that individuals do is consideration of the catchment area. Most Nigerian institutions have their catchment area. That is, localities where their admission is prioritized. For instance, there are some universities that are within one geopolitical zone and some are within three geopolitical zones. So comparing these two, if you apply one that is outside your catchment area, the likelihood of you getting admitted even if you score higher than some within the catchment area is less. So before applying, you need to consider whether the institution you are applying is within your catchment area or and this is one of the common mistakes that some individuals make while applying for MBBS. Because as we know, MBBS is so competitive. So once you apply where you have higher chances, the chances of you getting admission increases by a certain percentage. The second mistake that some individuals make is subject to admission. Even though this mistake is not uncommon, however, some individuals make the mistake of choosing like mathematics instead of physics for some. Like so the subject combination for UTM while applying for medicine and surgery in Nigeria, as we know, include the English, basic chemistry, and biology. These are the four subjects combination, and, and for the SSE, the core subjects are physics, chemistry, biology, English, and mathematics. So these are for the subject combination. Another mistake that some individuals make while applying for medicine and surgery in Nigeria is choice of the institution. As we know, there are different choices that you can put certain institutions like the first choice, the second choice, or the third choice. So almost all universities, even not for medicine and surgery, once you apply them as anything other than first choice, they are not considering you to be admitted. So when you are looking for admission, try to apply the institution of your choice as first choice to avoid being discarded and not being admitted into any course, even if not for medicine and surgery. Another mistake that some individuals make is considering the cost and the ownership of the institution. So the cost of the institutions varies as the federal institutions are the most cheapest institution and the state-owned institutions are in between the federal and the private and the private happens to be the most expensive of all the institutions. So you need to consider the cost of the institutions, provided that you are in a dilemma whether you can be able to pursue your studies in expensive schools or in schools that are less expensive. And another point to consider is the issue of mentorship. Though some students study as something that is not as important as it is, but mentorship also plays an important role while applying for medicine and surgery everywhere and Nigeria inclusive. So you need to be mentored, however, you need to consider one thing and that very thing is you need to be mentored by either a medical student or a medical doctor. Try as much as possible to avoid being mentored by individuals that know nothing about medical school because usually they are likely to misguide you and misdirect you to another tunnel telling you that you can't afford to study medicine or you cannot do this and that so that they will try to to realize your effort and at the end of the day you might end up failing. Another mistake that most applicants for MBBS in Nigeria make is considering UTME and post-UTME as luck. So actually there is luck that is playing its part, however you need to try your best as we can see. Some individuals might be able to score something around 300 and some individuals will just score something like less than even 200. So putting into consideration, you need to put your effort and try as much as possible to do what you can do so that at the end of the day, you might end up being successful. One of the common mistakes that applicants for medicine and surgery in Nigeria also make is 
giving up easily. Don't give up. Try as much as possible not to give up easily because some students applied for medicine more than once and failed and at the end of the day they become even the leaders as well. Now, so try as much as you can, provided that you have the passion of becoming a doctor, do your best and have a good faith that you will become the doctor you want. One other common mistake that applicants for medicine and surgery in Nigeria make is not having plan B. Usually, you need to have plan B. For instance, if I did not get medicine and surgery this year, what am I going to do? Like myself here, yeah, the year that I finished secondary school, I made no attempt for UTME, and with that, then I have to think on the way to boost my chances. And one of the best things that I did, which I never created, is joining remedial studies. That is School of Physics and Remedial Studies, which is pre degree program of my institution. And after that, then I boost my moral, passed my UTMB immediately at the end of the session and get enrolled into medicine and so on. So you need to have plan B, whether you are going to accept the course school admitted you and try to sit for UTMB immediately thereafter or try to enroll yourself into something in order to boost your chance of being admitted. Another common mistake that applicants for medicine and surgery in Nigeria make is doing it all alone. You need to have mentors. As I mentioned earlier, you need to have some people surrounding you to support you. Like your parents and everybody that is ready to sponsor you, you need to know that this is what I'm going to do and it will cost social services so that you will at least prepare his mind and support you once you get and even some mentors from the institution of your choice where well, they will guide you on how to pass the UTME and also the post-UTME, that is the aptitude test that is being organized by the institution students they have done one. Finally, one of the common mistakes that applicants for medicine and surgery in Nigeria makes that I would like to conclude this video with is providing wrong details while registering for UTME. You need to provide your details as correct and accurate as possible. Once you mismatch your family name, your middle name, and your surname, things like that, or even the date of birth and other details, then your chances of being admitted decreases. And even if not for being admitted, there might be consequences later in life. So you need to avoid those things and try as much as possible to be composed and try your best. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are yet to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and I wish you success in your application into any medical school of your choice. Bye bye.